friends. Today I just want to talk about reinforcement learning and different applications such as market making, algorithmic trading. So there are different paradigms in when we talk about machine learning. Supervised, as you know, when you're training some neural networks, you're using supervised. Of course, you can use unsupervised as well, finding hidden structure in collection of labeled data. But reinforcement learning is quite different paradigms. Its goal is maximizing a reward signal. In exploitation, for example, if you're familiar with genetic algorithm, exploitation could be your crossover. Your exploration could be your mutation. There are different concepts in reinforcement learning, so should be familiar with policy, reward signal, value function, model. Policy is just a mapping from states to actions. Example could be bid and ask policy. Reward signal is deviation from market price to value weighted average price in order book. What is good immediately is a function of state and action. But value function, it is good in the long run. We have another concept which is model. It could be model-based, it could be model-free. So this is just an example. We have four states in a Markov process. I mean, uh, it doesn't, it is independent of uh, previous, uh, your previous moves in the game. So in our four states, for example, in one states, states are in rectangular. So spread is greater than A or market price is very much greater than the volume weighted average price. Actions are in uh, Eclipse, uh, reduce spread sharply and add volatility from inventory, for example. So you have four states for actions, but you could have much more. Actions could be probabilistic, so uh, the sum of the probabilities should be equal to one. Okay, before we go to different and complex uh, problems, uh, we need to make sure that we understand uh, problems in multi-arm bandits because it's very simple. So you have 10 actions, uh, our game is just to choose one action so that our profit, our reward uh, could be maximal. So you have memory problem if you have several variables but uh, there is no memory problem if we just used reward and queue, just two variables to keep it in memory. So this is just a simple bandit algorithm. But now the real problem is Markov decision process. My focus is on finite Markov processes because they are simple. Of course, you could uh, extend it to infinite dimensional systems. To me, uh, it doesn't matter because my background is electrical engineering. Uh, either uh, your problem is a nonlinear robot control, or is uh, is about controlling financial markets. I mean different strategies when uh, using algorithmic trading. So for me, uh, I just look at the system, the environment, in financial as a financial market. So our Financial markets dictates what those probabilities should be discovered. So states could be your trading strategies, reward could be your profits in each order to send. And environment is your financial market, for example, Forex, CFT market, equities, cryptocurrencies, indices, lots of markets. So state transition probability and expected rewards for state action pairs, and expected rewards for state action next state, are just some uh, some rewards in each state you are in. But you could look at the problem as either episodic or continuing. For example, in each episode of length t, so our you have an episode, but uh, your your problem could be considered as a continuing task. So in financial market, you could use both of these approaches. A good example, 
of reinforcement learning at each stage. When you play golf at each stage, you just try to get closer to the to the hole, and uh, and at each stage you just wonder uh, because the environment you don't know the environment. Sometimes some places uh, have a decent steep is decent, and uh, so at each stage you just get closer to your goal. There are some policies and value functions. Policy is pi, okay? So you have two very important variables, action value function and state value function. Our goal is to maximize both of them. Our goal is to maximize them. So uh, when you write the equations, you come up to Bellman optimality equation. There are four, or I said 1,000 methods. I just write four methods out of hundreds of methods you could use to solve Bellman equation. The worst of them, let's say, is dynamic programming because quants don't like it because it takes time. You don't have time because financial markets are so so rapid and agile. You, you cannot just wait for them, so you go to Monte Carlo and some random sampling. Uh, the third approach is temporal difference learning, which is just a combination of dynamic programming and Monte Carlo methods. The last approach is n-step bootstrapping, which is a combination of Monte Carlo methods and temporal difference learning. So all these methods are just different uh, tools to solve Bellman equation. Okay, thanks.